Quick Dick McDick coming to you from Saskatchewan here and everyone's like, hey Quick Dick, how come you haven't been uploading many videos? Well, this is the time of year I get to go out and have some fun and meet some people and uh, do live comedy shows in small towns. I call it the Small Town Comedy Tour now. Small Town Comedy Tour, but there's really no tour. It's just uh, I book some stuff up and we go to some small towns and some halls and we have a hell of a lot of fun. And everyone's like, well, post your show online. Well, why would you ever post your show online then when you go to do it live? at a small town, they've already seen it. Nobody wants to watch reruns, so uh, I figure, you know what, maybe I can make a little bit of a compromise here this week. So this week on Quick Dick, uh, I'm gonna bring you with me, and we're gonna head on over to Lloydminster, Saskatchewan, and I'm gonna give you a little taste of the Quick Dick comedy show, so uh, let's roll. And of course, the first thing that you need when you're going to Lloydminster is the go-to-town truck to drive through this beautiful province that we call home. And of course, if I'm going to do a show tonight, there's only one tune that pumps me up to get ready for a show. Hit it, Dan. Floating down this river, not a care in this world, not a cloud in the sky. Two trips down if you're lucky. With your friends and your gal, both at your side. This river's cold as a glacier, but that's okay. The drinks come out just fine. This hot Saturday is slipping away, but for days like this, you got nothing but time. The highway dawn, man, what could go wrong when the sun's coming? Yeah, good old Maidstone. Drank a lot of booze in this town. It's nice to see they keep the sign up. We snake our way through this valley, past old homesteads and woods, the high water marks down. She ain't a trip to Lloyd without swinging in to get caught up with the old dusty ranch. <laughs> Towards town, this moment ends forever. As we dogs, dogs for days, yes. yeah. So, uh, that's important guys on the phone, hey? He's running a mechanic business here or something. <laughs> Shower up, better uh, change strings on the old Epiphone. We'll give uh, Lloyd some new strings tonight, hey? Oh, that's better. Back in oil country, let's do this. Well, I guess we'll unload here, see what's going on inside. Of course, what's a trip to Lloydminster without a podcast with this guy, local legend, Sean Newman? <laughs> Sound check. <laughs> you bastard, I'm not even dressed. Gray sweats, this, like yeah. this is the guy that's opening for me. Yeah, this would be a great night. Woo! This is going to be a good time. I think I just figured out why they call it the green room. There's even Bohemian in here. So for all you folks that really want to see my live comedy show, I mean, I can't show you the whole thing, but this is a bit that I'm actually taking out of my live show and replacing it with a different one. So I figured I'd show you this one just in case you can't make it to my shows. And if you're trying to book me and trying to get to shows, I'm really sorry. They sell out fast and I can't really book anymore because we farm. But uh, anyways... Here's the voicemail bit. Thanks again, Lloyd Mister, for this being an awesome show. And you're about to hear a whole bunch of swearing, so if that offends you, just stop watching or fast forward to the end or do whatever. My dad's the kind of guy that leaves me voicemails. <laughs> show of hands in here tonight, Lloyd Mister. Who in this crowd leaves people voicemails? Yeah, do you? Do you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> Fuck's wrong with you? Why? Why do you do it? Why do you leave them? See, it's the same as marriage. <laughs> Nobody fucking knows. My dad leaves me fucking voicemails. And then you have to check them. <laughs> the 
paint a picture for you here tonight, Lloyd Mister. I'm standing on top of the engine compartment of a 9770 John Deere combine that blew a fucking oil return line to the turbo. Almost burnt the fucking field down. I'm covered in oil. I'm in my coveralls. I'm taking this fucking turbo line off. And my phone starts ringing in my pocket. I'm like, I'm just going to finish this and I'll see what's going on. But then I think to myself, things come in three, so that other combine in the field's probably on fucking fire right now. <laughs> so I'm going to check who's calling me to make sure. And I do the old pocket pull. Big mustache, Al. Fuck. I'm here to tell you tonight, Lloyd Minster, that my dad does not phone me to tell me that he loves me. <laughs> my dad does not phone me to tell me that my cows look good and I'm doing a good job. <laughs> my dad doesn't phone me to tell me that he's proud of me as a son. My dad phones me, my cows are out. <laughs> and I don't want to hear any of these three fucking things right now from my dad. So I leave it. And I continue pulling this fucking turbo line off of this combine. Stops ringing. Two seconds later, what does the phone do? <laughs> fucking voicemail. <laughs> I finally get this turbo line off. I get down off the top of the combine. I wash my fucking hands. And I go through the labyrinth that our communist phone provider in Saskatchewan has created to check these fucking things called voicemails. I hit the button on the phone. Please enter your password followed by the pound key. <laughs> Thank you, Sastel. Thank you for password protecting the pertinent fucking information that my dad just left me on this voicemail. It's probably my credit card number, probably my bank account number, probably my social insurance number. So thank you for making it tougher to get into this fucking thing than my own fucking bank account. So I enter the password four times and finally the sweat between the screen protector and the phone and the grease on my finger allows me to enter the right numbers followed by the pound key and I hear this. You have one new voicemail. <laughs> I fucking know. I fucking know! That's why I called you! That's what the little red fucking dot said by the thing that looks like a fucking videotape. Could they have done better on the voice? It's this monotone voice that sounds like my grade three teacher who told me I would never carry a calculator with me for the rest of my life. Well, bitch, I'm on the fucking thing right now! <laughs> to review your messages, press one. Thank you! But what are my other fucking options right now? What number do I push for psychiatric fucking help? What number do I push to make sure that John Deere is not going to bend me over the passenger seat of a brat truck and fuck me? <laughs> Just check the message. That's my only option. Fine. Boop. New message sent today at 10.47 a.m. I fucking know. <laughs> it says it right by the red line on my missed calls on my phone, 10.47 a.m. Message sent from Big Mustache Al. I fucking know. <laughs> it says it next to the fucking time. The length of the message is 47 seconds. I don't fucking know! 
fucking care. So I'm to fucking delete it. So finally, my dad comes on this maze. Quick dick. It's your dad. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's your dad, big mustache Al. Fuck. Thank, thank you. Thank you, dad for confirming that you, big mustache owl, are exactly my fucking biological father. Because up until this voicemail on this day, it was a toss-up between you and Patrick fucking Swayze. <laughs> Fuck! It's uh, 10.45. I, I know! I know! I know it's 10.45! Call me back. Oh! oh. That's all you get. You gotta come see one live if you're gonna get the rest. Big thanks to my uh, spectacular host, Jen McConnell. It's just Jen. Do she just organized this whole thing. And what do you think? It was good? It was good? Phenomenal. Yeah. Let's do it again. Great night. Yeah. Oh, maybe again? Yeah, yeah. maybe. <laughs> I was gonna say, <laughs> after party. <laughs> uh, and the good old hungover drive home, uh, that's always great. Had to go rescue the truck because it got drunk last night. Gotta give Trudeau his carbon tax here, of course. Charge up the EV battery. <laughs> a huge thanks to all the fans that came out. Here's a few of them. Uh, Secretary of the House, and then, of course, the maker of the coolest little quick dicks that you've ever seen in your life. And I think I even found my queen at this show, except his name was Lori. And a massive thanks to Dan Cugnet for uh, always pumping out uh, great tunes that get me pumped up before a show. Check out uh, his album in the show notes there. And uh, that tune you heard was uh, floating down the highway. Anyways, that's all I got for this week, folks. See you at Agritrade in Red Deer on the 9th and the 10th. Going to be at the Mandaco booth. We're going to have a good time. Come on out and say hi and have a few beers. And we'll see you there, folks. Take care. Quickdickmcdick.ca we're not restocking before Christmas, so you better order now. <laughs>